hi there in the short lecture we will learn about onedrive and how we can organize the folders structure with respect to the onedrive as you learn how to store files in file explorer there is one detail everybody should be aware of related to onedrive even if you do not remember setting up onedrive or you don't need it but still you need to know aware of this settings onedrive is an online storage uh, it's a solution that is offered by Microsoft so whatever the uh, files or the folders that you're gonna store it that will be stored on a Microsoft cloud server called OneDrive server and these are automatically synchronized from your local desktop to cloud server uh, which is hosted by Microsoft so I encourage you to you know check out this course uh, where we are gonna talk more about OneDrive later point but the detail I wanted to talk about here is this OneDrive might be set up and working for you automatically also even if you don't know also in fact we have configured and we just logged in as the Microsoft account but it has automatically configured if you just go back here and you could you know just click here this OneDrive icon uh, icon or you could you know uh, click this little thing and you might have here OneDrive icon so in my case I have here so all I have to do is I have to just you know click on settings to view more settings so before we go into the more settings you can have a look on the pricing part so if you want to utilize as a free account which offers for with the 5 gb of the cloud storage you could you know sync uh, sync up all your files up to 5 gb and in case if you are a home user you can choose any of these options by choosing microsoft 365 family up to six members can use as a family people and each one gets one tb so all together you are going to get the six tb in total if you just in case if you're just planning for one user you also get the all these microsoft office applications with one tb cloud storage in case if you just look for a lesser price with only the storage option up to 100 gb it would be the best price a 19 or close to 20 dollars uh, with a auto renew subscription now that being said let's actually look into it I have used the free OneDrive basic plan with the 5GB plan so this 5GB is more than enough because if I just try to use the Microsoft um, account they offer 5GB cloud storage for OneDrive but in case if you are a business user then it's a different story you would definitely get at least one TB in any case the cloud storage and also other application gets offer for you but that being said let's actually look into the cloud uh, settings for OneDrive so you just have to you know click on this icon and right click or just the click on this icon and you will get here settings and go to the settings this is where you could actually use the uh, configuring the account so in my case this is where I have configured an account I could also configure one more account for OneDrive for business so that's an additional uh, software that's that will sync of my office network specific user account to be used and this is for the personal account and you see here the backup if you see just when I click on the backup there are managed folders you have different folders that are showing up here and if you see here the desktop and documents are getting automatically synced up with Microsoft OneDrive and the size is up to 5 GB which is given by Microsoft online account and in case if you don't want you can you know always click on a stop backing up but remember that backups are very important and you can you know, think about it uh, if you have any complaints issues or you don't want to save the data on Microsoft cloud servers then you can obviously stop backing up so that nothing can be automatically uploaded and one other reason would be for example you might be you know already um, consumed the disk quota of 1 TB or 5 GB then you might have to you know stop it uh, by clicking on it but if you just open up Windows Explorer you would you can navigate to 
C drive and users and my user account in this case and this is where my OneDrive folders will be available and you can see here I can when I double click I can see the desktop and I can see the documents all of that and if you see icon with the cloud only icon meaning this contents are available on a cloud not on the PC uh, that is not physically available here, but it is an over the cloud. So it all depends uh, how, What kind of a you know, configuration you have done? So if you just go back to the settings one more time you have an option here to choose uh, by default it doesn't save everything on your physical PC instead it actually downloads on demand let's say you saved a file if you're not using it will be only over the cloud not on your local PC so that you can save the uh, local disk space and one other uh, easy to identify is one other option is if you just go to users name you do not see here um, images folder or the pictures folder but you can find that pictures folder inside uh, OneDrive meaning it has actually configured same thing goes documents also within the OneDrive documents these documents are different than the documents that are available on the user account for example in the user account documents I have a file here with this a special uh, text example so this file should actually uh, is isolated this document folder compared with OneDrive documents which is here so whatever the file or folder you're going to create it here which remains uh, same for example this is a test file so the test uh, BMP file gets synced automatically and you also get here a tick mark meaning this file is synchronized to the cloud now and in case if you want to free up space just right click on this and say here free up space so that this entire file gets um, cleaned up from the local machine but the file exists on a cloud so when you try to use it uh, by double clicking so we during that time it actually retrieves from a cloud to local PC this is how OneDrive works and OneDrive is really useful and helpful in terms of taking backup of users data and also there are other couple of settings like you could you know sync the uh, settings also uh, configuration directly to your OneDrive configuration and we'll talk on that later point by taking the backup of entire PC information also. I hope you understand the trade-offs and the cost of using OneDrive backup and how you can disable it if you really need it. Thank you for watching this.